Ah non, don't disturb my pee. I'm still in wildlife camp, but I moved to the campsite. The staff wanted to give me a proper spot. And what a spot! The rooftop tent is literally facing the beautiful Luangwa River. And Urs and Barbara, the couple from Switzerland, finally joined me here for the next two nights. Guys, look all the dust in the car. <gasps> this is insane. <laughs> This is just insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. Today, I decide to drive back to the South Bangua again, although I started the self drive safari a little bit later than usual. The truth is, I didn't have the best sleep in the world last night, so it was quite a mission to get up fully energized. But it doesn't matter now. I'm here, driving through the bush in my favorite national park of Africa. And my energy is naturally getting back to me. I think I could spend days watching my favorite giants. There is nothing more powerful. There is something so calming and extremely comforting in the world's largest land animal.
I forgot the pee box in the load bed. And I so want to pee. I'm going to pee on me. This video is a, you know, witness. Ah non, don't disturb my pee. Can tell you something, I feel better, I feel lighter. I <laughs> just peed in the wild. Oh my gosh. I never peed that fast. <laughs> but I so needed it. So stupid. Damn it. I, I didn't sleep enough last night and I completely forgot my pee box in the back. Shit.
I know, deep inside, that one day I will stay here. Forever. I don't know when or how this will happen. I ignore the reasons, but I know it. I will live here, in this corner of beauty. Something is happening in my heart, and it's strong, powerful, unbeatable. I love this place so much. This is my last day in the South Luangwa area. I enjoy my breakfast with a view. My neighbors, the hippos, are now fast asleep. They were too busy communicating all night long. And today, it's going to be a busy day. I take a video! <laughs> Ciao! Ciao! Urs and Barbara left for Malawi and it's time for me to fetch my new African trousers in town to extend my visa at the police station and to fill up the tank if they have some diesel. It's been actually a few days that the only gas station around is running out of diesel. Wish me luck. Oh putain, les poulets. They have many chickens here. <laughs> Sorry? They have many chickens here. <laughs> chickens. Yeah, chicken. Are you here? When you have to go to the immigration <laughs> and you put everything in the car like a fugitive. I did my grocery shopping. I'm at the gas station and there is no more power. Like the light there is weird. So we are waiting for the power to come back so they can fill up. Rafiki! <laughs> Still waiting for the power to come back. The thing is like I need to read the money and I really need um I really need uh, the the fuel now because I'm leaving I'm leaving the day after and yeah there is no on the road then like there is no gas stations anymore so i need to i need to fill up the tank now power again and we fill in the tank This is crazy. Um, I was about to go into the tent because it's time to sleep, and I heard a like something on the on the river. So I just looked twice, and I saw that there was a fisherman there. There is a fisherman still now. I hear him. Um, is you know, is fishing, and the thing is like there are so many hippos here in South Langua like crazy and crocodiles so many and is now fishing I can hear like I just recorded a, a video earlier where you can hear the hippos and I was looking at this guy while you know going to sleep in my my tent and and 
and the world is so unfair. This is crazy. Okay.